Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mobby. I wanted to quickly come here, chillax with you guys, and talk about Super Mario 3D All-Stars. What are my first impressions of the game? And is it worth picking up? Well, before we jump into everything about this, let's talk a little bit about the Mario history and where they got the idea to make a little package like this. Well, back in the day, they made a compilation called Super Mario All-Stars on the Super Nintendo, which gave you the original Mario Brothers, Mario 2 in Japan, but over here in America, it was called The Lost Levels. And the, re the American 2 that we got, which is a reskin game called Doki Doki Panic, and then Mario 3, and then Super Mario World, except Mario World, all the other ones that got ported to the Super Nintendo on this cartridge, on this bundle, got an awesome, you know, reskin. So, this game is probably the most, except Super Mario RPG, that I have played on the Super Nintendo. It is a very good game, a good compilation. So, they pretty much grabbed Super Mario 64. They grabbed, which came out in 1996. Six years later, 2002, Super Mario Sunshine, great game. This is my, f this is my girlfriend's favorite Mario game, and the first 3D one she tried. And then a couple years later, on the Wii, and uh, this is the GameCube. I don't know if I said that. This is the Wii version of Super Mario Galaxy, a really, really awesome game. Oh, yeah. oh man, really quick. Remember the days where it would come with manuals to teach you about the game and have fun? So, this new pack here combines these three games into one. And a lot of people were saying, well, if it was going to be Super Mario 3D All-Stars, why did they not include Mario Galaxy number two? And the reason I feel it's because it's to keep it consistent. There's kind of three games, 64, Sunshine, and Galaxy. Galaxy 2 would, would be a fourth game in here for sure, but it would be too much value in here for Nintendo to sell. And let's go ahead and quickly talk about the elephant in the room when, you know, this game got announced and all that stuff. This right here is a physical copy. You can't buy these in store anymore after April 1st. They are not going to be printing anymore. You can get secondhand games, you know, ones that your friends picked up and they don't want anymore, of course, but you're not going to see new copies being printed as far as, you know, recording today, unless there's any news. But the bigger thing, and that confused me and a lot of other people, is not only are they stopping it digitally, oh, sorry, Physically, but also digitally. So that means they're they're just gonna pull it straight out, pull it from the online store, so you can't even buy and download the bundle. So this here is a very very limited copy, and that's also gonna be on the April first, twenty twenty one. A lot of people are saying April first is probably just gonna be a big joke. I really hope so. That's a weird joke to play. So why are they doing that? What's the benefits? Well. It does a couple of things. First of all, when you tell people that it's going to be limited, they are going to clamor out, grab it, and pick it up. And maybe some people bought more than one and aren't even opening it because it might be a huge collector's item in the future. I'm not going to lie. I'm glad I got this. However, you know, it's just the box itself. There's no manual or anything. The cartridge is in my Switch over there. Um, and another reason is they probably want to do something with these games individually these are emulated games emulated games by the way so maybe they might have some sort of online service where you, you know just like they have the uh when, when you pay for nintendo online you get the nes games you get the super nintendo games maybe they're going to work towards a nintendo 64 mini or a nintendo 64 online service hmm and if so, if they're planning to do that next, of course, they got to get the, the, the GameCube and the Wii versions out of there so they can work on that. So that is the only reason I see them getting rid of the bundle. Like, hey, it's Mario's, uh, was it, what, 35th anniversary? And they're all like, yeah, 
you know, this is a quick thing. I'm going to pull off the stores. And uh, that's it. So if that happens, and ho I hope in April 1st, they announce, hey, it's gone. But, you know, as a, um, you know, as a, uh, this is going to be a letdown when it happens. But to get everyone's hype up, they announce it's going to be, you know, you can now at least purchase them individually. That would be pretty awesome. So, what do I think about the games? Well, they are enhanced HD, higher resolution, and uh, overall better performance, I think. It's not bad. If you have never played these games before, I'd say this is a really, really good pickup. Uh, it's very good value. These are some of the best Mario games out there. I'm really happy, in particular, for Mario Sunshine and 64. A lot of people, uh, you know, my audience really hasn't really played these. And then, you know, sometimes I ask, hey, you know, what kind of Mario games did you play? It's like, oh, yeah, when I was a kid, you know, I played uh, Mario Galaxy. And I'm like, yeah, that's a great one. But you guys should definitely try these ones. So it's good. It's really good. I'm glad they're bringing it back. Now, is it worth it? Well, if you like collecting physical copies, I'd say you definitely pick it up. Digital? Well, if you download it and delete it, I believe you are always going to have access to it. So there you go. It's not too bad. It's a good value. And if you really want to just play it, but you don't have money, yeah, I'd say go emulate them. But these ones have, like I said, better resolution and uh, updated graphics. And I think that is mostly what they changed. Um, one thing I have to say that in, in Mario 64, and I uh, checked it out you know, firsthand, Back in the day, on the original, when you would do the Bowser fights, how you would fight him is you run around him, you grab his tail, you spin him around, and then you toss him, right? When you toss him, he actually says a line, and back in the day, and even today, if you go back and listen to it, um, this is not how he, you know, this is not quote-unquote. He says something different, but it super sounds like, so long, gay Bowser, and that was like a meme for the longest time, but they changed it. They changed it in the new one, and I'll play a clip right here. Oh, you put let go of me. Bye bye. Oh <laughs> no, Gay Bowser, why? Boom. He says just bye bye, which is adorable. But they changed it up. I think they changed it up because people are going to complain about it. And I can't believe it, man. How much freaking... Uh, how you got to change it? How you got to change it so bad? And who, who knows what other sort of things they had to change for these other games. Because these are big open worlds with lots of voices, lots of little references to things. Uh, who knows what else they changed. But uh, we'll find out as the days go by. So... Anyways, I just wanted to quickly let you guys know we're in the middle of playing these. I grabbed all these out here. And if you guys are interested, all the footage you saw today was taken straight from my Twitch live stream. Come on by. I'm going to be playing through all of them. There's a link down below. Follow me. I go live Monday through Friday starting at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Follow me on Twitter, on Instagram, and Discord. All the links are always down in the description. Let me know. What Mario game have you played that is your favorite? What's your first one that you ever played? And are you interested in playing this one? Because you do have a couple of months to pick it up. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.